Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to attempt to finish up our soybean harvest, if we can. But, uh, if we can't finish it, we're gonna do as much soybeans, uh, get as much soybeans combined as we can. And hopefully, uh, get ready to start on our corn harvest tomorrow. Or maybe even in this video, if, uh, we get lucky. So our combine is currently 75% full. We are going to be full. It would be nice if we could be full before we reach the other end of the field, but I know that's not going to happen because our yield is not that great. It would be nice if it was that awesome of a yield, but unfortunately it is not. So our header is starting to catch up on getting dirty. Starting to get up there in uh, dirtiness. So we uh, did get quite a good amount of this field combined already in uh, yesterday's video after we finished up field 25 there. So it'd be nice if we could finish harvest by the end of the, by tomorrow, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. It of course would be awesome, but like I said, I highly doubt that that'll happen. But we will get a good portion of it. Uh, portion of our combining done before our week is over. Finally. Alright, and we are just about full as well. And we fill before the end. Because I don't want to fill going the other direction. Yep. Definitely filled before the end. Okay. Let's jump over here and grab this guy. And we'll head on over and unload the combine and then we'll be able to head over to the bin and unload our soybeans here. Kind of pitiful of our, how small of an amount of soybeans we're gonna have. We're gonna actually go down here and go to the entrance since uh, that's where the combine is. And we don't have to drive all the way across the field. Since the uh, entrance that we're going through is just a makeshift entrance. It's just a spot where there's just grass. Nothing else. But this is the actual entrance right here. into this trailer now. And it should fill this trailer, I think. This thing's sliding. It might seem like it was. Yep. 1% left in the combine. That's crazy. Oh, 
blow some smoke heading up here this hill. So I found that any tractor that has this uh, dynamic exhaust script in it, when it's just sitting, like not being used for a while, they all just start smoking. Like the smoke literally just starts pouring out of the tractor, even though it's not running or moving. And then like you just enter it and it stops for a little while and then it starts again, you know, when you left it. I don't know why. It's definitely kind of strange, but I guess that's how it is. Alright, so... So it looks like our windrows have actually, like, gone down a little bit. Maybe, I don't know, I guess I... Now that I think about it, I didn't really pay that close of attention. Kind of funny how that works. Holy smokes, this is an awful spot to be. Just awful. So our pipe is out. Cool beans. Are we hitting the trigger? Yes, we are. I think. I sure as heck hope so. Let's find out here. Okay, now comes the fun part of figuring out directions in this stupid auger. Oh man, do I hate this. What? Whoa. I did not want to do that. Okay, my pipe is in though. So why are you still picking up straw? What the world? That's weird. I don't know what the deal is with this auger. This is real this thing really is strange. I don't know why it does all this, but okay, let's dump that there. Then. I don't know what its deal is. It's got something wrong with it, but there's something that is strange in it. Wait, does this thing... It does still have a little bit of straw in it. Goodness. That's annoying. Come on, get out of there. You can still see a little bit of it right there. I think I got it now. That's really annoying that this thing picks up straw, too, in a way. I mean, in a way, it's annoying, but then again, it is kind of nice. And now, of course, it's all messed up because it's got some straw in it. And I can't get this stuff out of here. What the heck? Well, that's unfortunate. So, let me guess. It's going to pick it up even though it's... The pipe is in. No, pipe in. Now it's in. Uh. 
There we go, I think we got it now. Nope. Still got some in there. Now. How about now? Finally get it. I think so. It looks like it. I don't see any straw in there. That's really annoying. Jeez. Well, I guess now I know never to drive by a field of straw again. What? Is it still not gonna refill? I sure hope that that stuff actually went in the bin. That could have been bad if it didn't. I don't see it piled in there. And there's no pile right here either, I don't see. It did go into the auger. So, auger, all right. What? I don't know what that's all about there. Yeah, this is still showing straw. <sighs> well, that's really annoying. So now our pipe is in. Pipe out. Let's see if we can't pick some stuff up. Just to give it something to want to unload. Okay, so we're far away from straw now. Well, that's annoying. Let's see if we can reset this, and maybe that'll help. I don't know if it will or not. I doubt it will. away from that tree there. Okay, so I'm not seeing straw in it now. I don't know. We're just going to leave this thing sit right here for now. And we'll wait until we're done combining to uh, check it anymore because I'm not doing that again. <laughs> not at all. That was a good way to kill a bunch of the video. I'll have to mess with that another time, I guess. We'll have to do it once the auger is out of the way and we can get in there without having to drive into the wheat field there. Then we'll, uh, then we should have no problems, hopefully. So I think what I'm going to do, because I highly doubt that we're going to be done with uh, soybeans in this video, I think what I'll do is I'll just, well, I don't know. In a way, I'd kind of like to be done with harvest at the end of the week, but uh, we'll just leave it, I guess. I was going to say that I'd do some off-camera work and finish the soybeans off-camera, but we'll just finish them tomorrow maybe we'll uh, continue harvest in the next week I guess Uh, 
so we'll just try and get as much as we done can. Get as much done as we can. Goodness. We'll have a good portion of the field done by the time we uh, finish up the video here. We are getting a pretty good uh, portion of this field knocked out, though. I do have to say. You can definitely see the dirt starting to show, like, on the reel and stuff on the header here so that's also good it won't be completely clean by the time we're done harvesting but uh, it's definitely nowhere near as dirty as the combine is here Next uh, growing season, we'll handle our uh, fertilization a little better than uh, than we did this season. We won't be spraying when the corn is just about fully grown. Um, I will make sure of that next next time around. Now that I kind of have a better idea of how the uh, growth works, I will uh, definitely be sure to do things correctly next time around. Come on, you can't pick up just one more row. Definitely over far enough that it should be. It's crazy how these hitters work sometimes. Most of the time they'll pick up more than uh, more than their width, and then when you want it to, it won't. It's just plain ridiculous. Uh, next season, we actually won't have to spray as many times either, because with um, with the ground here, because actually now that I think of it, we shouldn't have to plow next year at all, so we can just save our tillage until spring. Um, and we should be able to, um, when, I think when you cultivate with chop straw, it adds like two fertilize stage, two stages of fertilization. Um, at least that's, I was watching, uh, one of Ian Robson's videos and that's what he was talking about that, uh, when you cultivate chop straw into the ground, it incorporates two stages of fertilization. So if that's the case, then we'd only have to spray once next year, and we could do that. Uh, you know, if we get, I would like to upgrade um, maybe the drills, uh, upgrade and get like the Great Plains drill, and use that versus the little John Deere's. Um, and then just definitely upgrading corn planters, uh, probably getting the batter stat and getting like a bigger tractor 
I don't know. We'll have to see what we have the money for uh, when we start upgrading. I mean, we do have quite a bit of money now, but, uh, you know, how much we'll have come spring. Because um, spring is probably when we'll make our purchases. And when we do trade stuff in, that stuff that we trade in, that will haul to the dealership and uh, sell it directly and get the most money that we can. Um, you know, like when we sold the dairy equipment, I wasn't too terribly worried about the money there. But uh, when we do sell equipment to, um, you know, trade up or to, yeah, I guess trade up, um, then when we do that, we'll definitely haul it to town and sell it directly um, because then we'll get the most money I'm thinking haul the uh, 1206 the grain drills the corn planter and the plow uh, haul all of that to town and sell all of it and get a get a John Deere tractor that's a little bit more power um, at least 140 horsepower, hopefully more, uh, because the corn planter that I want to get is 100, requires 140 horsepower, and I don't want to have to use the International for planting corn. Uh, it will definitely get used for the grain drill that we that I want to upgrade to, uh, because I mean I plan to run a lot more ground next year, so we need the. Uh, bit bigger of equipment. I mean, we're not going to be running any air seeders or anything like, or DB corn planters or anything like that next year, but uh, that's still a few years off, I think. I don't see that happening in the super near future. But, uh, I mean, we may get to be doing that in the next couple years, but uh, this year or next year, I don't see it happening at all little while down the road it might so we might be lucky to pull another half a wagon out of this field uh, and I'm just gonna stop right here and unload it rather than go a little bit you know combine just a very tiny little bit and then have it fill just because that would make a lot more sense So I'm hoping that that grain went into that grain bin, otherwise that's not going to be fun. Because that would mean that we just lost an entire load of soybeans. Although, if that did happen, a way that we could fix it is I have this uh, placeable mod here, the buy all fruit silo. You can see what it looks like here, if I can find a spot where it will place. Maybe. I don't know. I can't get it to place anywhere, but uh, you can see what it looks like from right here. The uh, buy all fruit silo. And that basically you can buy any fruit that is on the map. You can buy through that. Uh, but evidently it doesn't want to buy. It could just be that it or doesn't want to show up. But it could just be that it's not in a position where it can really place that well. But I guess, I don't know. I'll have to test it on Westbridge. I haven't tested this thing yet. So maybe it is a broken download or something. But I don't know. I don't think it is. I hope it's not. That wouldn't be fun. Alright. So we'll see. Maybe I will... Because um, we don't have a whole lot left to combine. And we've still got about four and a half minutes. We'll see... Um, we'll have to see what 
how much we have left when the timer goes off. Maybe we'll just finish up the soybeans. Uh, you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're just going to finish soybeans in this video. And then we can take care of uh, corn and get started on corn tomorrow. We don't have a whole lot left, so we'll just go ahead and finish it off. Then we'll just be done with it versus have like a couple strips or something like that. I don't mind making the videos a little bit, you know, a couple minutes longer than a half hour here and there, just to kind of finish things up. But uh, I have had a lot of requests, you know, why don't you just do like hour long videos or longer than that? And it, half hour is about the max that I'll go because like to sit and record, I mean, I record a few videos in a row, um, but I'm usually like pausing in between them and stuff like that for a couple of minutes, just kind of take a break. And just to record for an hour straight in one video is just too much. And for me personally, watching a video that's longer than a half hour, I don't actually watch the whole thing. When it's a video that's longer than a half hour, I will sit and just skip through it. Like when they're about a half hour, um, most times I'll sit and watch them. Like it depends on what it is. Um, like... You know, for example, to sit down and watch one of Ian Robson's videos, those I sit and watch the whole thing of. Um, but, you know, like, people's live streams, I usually really tend to skip through those. Um, especially when, like, some live streams, I'll make it to it to watch some of it, and then I'll sit and watch some of the stream, and then... Like streams, I don't really like to sit and watch the whole thing of um, much. Um, like I'll watch some of it for a while and then I'll leave and go do something else for some, you know, a little while. And then like if they're still streaming 20 minutes later, then I'll pop back in and kind of check it out and you know, see what they're doing at that point. But live streams, I really don't like to sit and watch. Um, I mean, like if I'm in the TeamSpeak server of the person streaming that video and you know I'm talking with them while watching their video and talking about their video to them then I sometimes will more often watch the whole thing because you know I'm talking with them and interacting over this live stream but uh, most other times I just don't but for me half hour is about about right that's you know, longer than that, like 45 minutes, I kind of start to lose interest and start to skip through it, but half hour I find to be about right. I know some people, they may enjoy watching the longer videos, some may enjoy even shorter than a half hour, but to me, half hour, just right. I mean, like 15 minutes, you don't get a whole lot done in a 15 minute video uh, or at least it you don't seem to I don't think that you do anyways and um, I don't know I just don't see it as being uh, that great alrighty that's a wrap on our harvest. So what we're gonna do is stop the combine right here. Hop up here to this guy. <coughs> so we can just turn this off again.
Come on, get me out of here. Okay, and then we'll go grab our pickup here. So that way we can uh, get this header trailer over there and get that <coughs> header loaded on here and get this put away. And then also so that way we can uh, just hook on to our um, little auger because it's going to take forever to drive that thing over to the bins. Plus we will have to move it over to those bins as well. Because I think, well, I don't know. I'm still undecided if I want to put corn in this big bin here or not. I'm leaning a little more towards not. But, okay, dismiss. That's so annoying. So I don't know why. I had been playing on a different save game earlier. And it was, I didn't get the option, like I couldn't bring up my uh, alternative worker thingy or whatever it's called. So I don't know what the deal was there. Maybe I didn't, I thought I activated it. I guess maybe I didn't. Nope, both of our pallets are back. Let's move these dang things out of the way. Pick it up and throw it. Same with that one. Get them things out of the way. Actually, you know what we should do? We should go hook onto our corn header first and bring that over. Well, okay. I'm just going to pull this guy right here. And I'll take care of that off camera. I don't need to do that on camera here. And this guy will pull over by the pressure washer and uh, leave that there. Ooh. No. I guess our this trailer must lock it down. Uh, lock down the header. Because it doesn't move like I thought it would. So we do need to remove the hopper on that as well. But we need to get in it anyways and unfold it and whatever else. Oh, it makes a blinking blinker noise. It's kind of odd. There we go. Okay, and I'll hop in the pickup here. We might as well turn on our hazards. Okay, I'm going to pull that right there and leave it. And we're going to go over here to this. And we're going to take this over and unload it. So that way we can get the last of our beans in the bin. And this is exactly half full. Which is kind of nice. Or kind of... It's kind of funny, I guess. Well, this is exactly right on the dot of half full. Well, maybe not exactly on half full, but it's showing half full because of it's in the 50% uh, range. I know one thing about about getting a grain truck is it would be much faster to sell grain because it drives a little faster in the tractor. But I guess technically we could just pull the wagon with the pickup uh, for selling. I mean, you could go a little bit faster. It wouldn't want to go too terribly much faster. Otherwise, it'll start just swaying all over the road. But Okay, start engine. I'm going to watch this this time. Make sure that this is indeed... Huh. That's kind of strange. 
I don't know what's going on there. We're gonna have to figure that out. Because if we just lost all of that crop, that's really gonna suck. And it shows a little bit of soybean in there yet. Let's just see here once. Maybe we can get... Maybe we're not over the trigger correctly. Because the trigger is... It is right here, isn't it? It's not over the top of the bin. Yeah, it's right there. And we are in the trigger. Just uh, find out here what's going on. I don't want that. That is for sure. Alright, we'll drop that right there. I'll jump in it. Hopper put back on it. Okay, this has something in it. I don't know what. I don't know why. But there is something in it. Again. Is that straw again? Yeah, I have a feeling that it is. Okay, well, I'm going to figure out what the heck's going on here off camera. And get this all figured out because this is starting to drive me nuts and really starting to get on my nerves um, so yeah I will figure it out and then tomorrow we will um, I'll show you guys you know I'll do some off-camera stuff I'll get this auger set up at the uh, next bin I think I am just gonna put the corn in that bin just have everything close and then I'll get the corn header on the combine get the combine cleaned up and get it ready down at that field. I'll get the gravity wagon over to that field. I will get the um, uh, draper header and trailer cleaned up and uh, get everything set up and ready to go for corn harvest and get this mess figured out here as well. So thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.